you become addicted to the passion. You become addicted to the highs and lows. How about that? You become addicted to West Ham. I really truly believe that West Ham's got an identity that people want to be a part of. Loyal to each other, rotten to others. Like a family tradition. My third generation am I? I bleed current blue. A true loving feeling. And the West Ham fans go berserk. Be a part of the West Ham is truly special. I came from Glasgow where it was a, a working class culture and I know what football means to the people. Sometimes, you know, it was the only thing that gave you any real joy. Your football team winning at the weekend. So, I can see where it plays a big part in everybody's life here. Okay. All right. So, six years, give or take, now at the club, what initially attracted you to come in? This is the biggest day in the English football year, the FA Cup. In the last seconds of the game, West Ham's third goal. History. Which won the most highly prized sporting trophy in the world. Huge in East End, end of London. That was superb. Magic. Live job. That's heaven. That lifts the boys. The names of the players are legendary, not just for West Ham, but they're legendary throughout England and in many cases throughout the world. Kevin! Can you all you not believe that? That is sensational. They are part of the furniture, do you know what I mean? You think you ain't gonna get a player like that no more. Bobby Moore, to mention one. <laughs> No, you say those names and I think I'm a long way away from them. The guy's a legend. As a new captain, you try to, you try to look up to them and have the same leadership. If you do well here and people love you, then you'll be remembered forever. One club man. Everything that probably we're speaking about now in terms of West Ham, he was. East London, where I grew up as a kid, a mile away from the stadium. Football was, was life on the streets, and West Ham was all that we knew as kids. I tell my son and my daughter now about what it was like growing up, and they need to know that, and, and kids now need to know that, that the traditions of West Ham should be ingrained. Love living in the East End. The school was there, one butcher's, one baker's. Everything was kind of right where you wanted it. When you had to come home, when your mum was shat, your dinner's ready. Your dinner's ready, mum. East London is a different way of life. You get proper doled up on a Sunday, but my dad had like a dog tooth jacket, a roll neck. He loves all that. Yeah, he loves all that. Hello, babe, you all right? <laughs> you after your eels? All my missus family are obviously all East End, so their cheddar deals, loves all that. It was really cheap, because they come from the Thames, they used to. Stuart Pierce was going to take me to the pie and mash shop, and then they started talking about jelly deals, and I think that's when I went, I know, we're out of here. I love the accent. When we had the foreign players come in, they wouldn't have a clue what I was talking about. I'm going to lose my love for bread next time, right? <laughs> that's what you say, yeah? He's talking bone, phone, whistle and flute, so trying to play, mate. Don't forget your pie and liquor's a vicar. Oh, pie and liquor's a vicar, there you go, babe. My brother still uses it. I gotta leave it out till. I thought I'm in Danny Dyer film or something. Working class man, we go to football. That's what we do. We are what we are. Born in West Ham, he's just a family. It's like family. one big community yeah. family. You know if you're West Ham when you walk down them roads. In the time of the East End, the, the big community was there. So going to the West End, it's their time to be together. Hello once again, I'm Martin Tyler. This is Upton Park, where West Ham United have established a tradition for footballing entertainment down the My really understanding is that I used to come to Upton Park, you know, being manager of Everton. Everton skipper in a crumpled heap for the moment. David Moyes pointing an accusing finger. West Ham played really well, put us under a lot of pressure. They had their pride at stake and I thought they showed that. Joker. Passion, it's always tough, always difficult, rough. I never played at the old ground. 
but obviously heard the, the stories and the atmosphere about it. The Chicken Run was nicknamed the Chicken Run because of the hostility. It was the East End, yeah. When the ball went out over that side, you was never safe from abuse. If you listen to interviews of past players of previous teams, they all say they hated coming to Upton Park. Oh, look at this. Chappers of risk. Feelings running way too high on the touchline. They're very competitive and aggressive, West Ham. There was nothing like under the floodlights, midweek Upton Park. Some of the games where they just it was electric. Life's never dull around here, is it? No, we play great football, don't we? And here in Frank Lampard. You come to West Ham, you get entertained. We need to take the spirit that we've got here, a bit of soul that this place has got, and take it to the Olympic Stadium and make that our home. It was sad to leave. I think it was sad for everyone, you know? Some people couldn't get over it. But I think we had to do it as a football club to move on and become bigger and better. I think in the past four or five years, uh, we've certainly done that. It's a big game, it's a derby or it's a European night. The noise is fantastic under the light. When you hear bubbles being sung, it makes the airs on the back of your neck stand up. The greatest moments for me as a player, I used to love when they turned the, the volume off. When you can hear that noise, at times, you can't help but sing it. It's a fantastic thing to hear. This, a game that just has something about it. Even if the setting is a different world from Upton Park's fibre atmosphere and tight confines, where West Ham Manchester United had history and heroics. Good ball in, Zuma, on the stretch. Yeah, you could, you could feel the passion at the game. This place was rocky. rocky. I felt like I was 15 again. No other feeling you get in your life. That roar of that first goal Bizarre. makes you want to score more. Bowen! Jared Bowen, the man that does it again. Everyone's hugging each other. I don't know who I'm hugging half the time. Anculus might be able to take full advantage. He can! They want one thing for a player and that's playing for the badge. Well, I think I've, at the minute, I think our front three is as good as any in the country. I really, truly believe that. You look at Jared Bowen, Lucas Paqueta and Mohamed Kudos, extremely talented players. Mo, great person, down to earth, relaxed. Lucas is very special. Things he can do with a ball, not many others can. Jared, quick, strong, enthusiastic. A sort of an iconic figure for West Ham now. I want to go down as a legend, and I know a legend is a hard, hard thing to reach, but I think there's a lot more to do to, to get to that kind of status. As a player, you want to win trophies, but you never know if you're actually going to win a trophy. Steal yourselves, everyone. This final may well extend into extra time. It wasn't a massive pressure. It was more excitement than stress, or, you know, it was more excitement. David Boys, his eyes on the prize, seeking his first ever major trophy as a manager. It was, it was really tough. The year before, we had knocked out Seville and Leon before we had Eintracht Frankfurt in the semi final. And we just couldn't quite get over the line on that. Try and find a winner. Hakazar looks over these Bowen. The flag stays down. Bowen's away. One on one. Hits the shots. When Paqueta got it and he played the ball through, I could feel myself walking towards the goal. Oh, come on, Jared. This is the moment. And, uh, and it was. Oh, he might just have won. And that was the night to remember. Surreal. Aeroplastic point does it going everywhere. It didn't really sink in at the time. Hammers hysteria. One of the great moments in West Ham's history. They've won it. The heartache that West Ham fans have had over the years. Just pure elation. He and Jared Bowen.
United. That's what we're all about. And it was never more obvious than we came back with a trophy from Prague. It was a fantastic time for the club. It was truly special. I really enjoyed the feeling of that. I'd like to do that again.